So one thing we've picked up on there is the fact that Andy is actually executing the shot really well when he's focusing in on the drop shot. And there's lots, the ball's staying short, we've moved the target forward because actually you're hitting the ball really, really well. I think one thing we'd like to see a touch more of is maybe adding a little bit more threat of the other shots now from this position just behind the back of the service box. So I think what I want you to do is go on and think, can I hit a drop or a drive? I'm going to be still on the sidelines with Jennifer feeding you and I might shout out drive. If I do, we're going to just see if you're able to get the two shots working together from the same swing. So we'll focus on the drops, but I can call drive at any point and let's see what that looks like. Lovely shot. Good shots. Yeah. Drive. It's pretty good to me. Good. It looks like there's the option yeah. of the drop of the drive from there. A couple more with me calling. Don't be afraid, go for it. Nice, that follow through is great. Drive. Right. Yeah. Right, that's fine. A bit yeah. deeper if you're going to commit to the drive. A nice. shot. Yeah. A little bit late. So with that one. I feel like there was a disconnect. You made the late decision. Yeah. But you didn't really get any transfer of weight, so the, the ball went left off the strings, you used your arm, but there was not quite enough weight transfer into the shot. So I think you can work a bit harder with your, with your body weight, getting behind the ball, and then can you transfer, you know, talk, James talked about sinking with his knees, his hips getting through the ball. So just think about trying to link the swing okay. to the body weight and linking it all together. So maybe just a couple more, and then I think we're pretty much ready to dive off the back wall because okay. you're nailing these ones. Nice. Right, well, I mean, to be honest, looking at those from there, there's not really a great no. deal of fine tuning to do without the back wall coming into play. I mean, you're using the strings ridiculously well. There's lots of cut. The ball's staying pretty tight and actually very short. So, I mean, it, I think it ties in nicely with starting to look at the ball off the back wall. Yeah. Now, um, let's, you're gonna have to get your movement into the shot. You're gonna have to focus on your spacing. You're gonna have to get your timing right you know it becomes a bit more challenging a bit further away and the ball's coming bouncing off the floor and then coming off the wall so it'll be really interesting to see how that pretty solid technique translates to executing this off the back wall so i think maybe a few more static feeds from here before we start looking at some some rolling drives but let's uh, see how you go Nice shot. Just a fantastic shot, an unbelievable shape on the swing. We talked about go. coming down and underneath. I think one wow. thing you do absolutely fantastically is that there, and you're able to take the pace off the ball and leave it really short. So again, technique just holding up really well. Yeah. Just hitting the side on. So I think what's, when you are catching the side wall, I think you're just getting a tiny bit too close. Yeah. So you're getting a little bit far into the corner, which means that, you know, we touched upon it earlier, right? You're not able to get into that position, yeah. that locked up position, hit down yeah. the back of the ball. So by being a little bit on top of the ball, you're actually doing that at the point of impact because you're not able to get there. So the racket head's coming inside the ball rather than hitting down the back of the ball. And then I think the ball's just catching, it's drifting off the strings. Yeah. And catching the side wall so it's, it's certainly not an absolute issue of yours because yeah. there's some ridiculous drops going in yeah but, I think but it's happening more than twice it's yeah. like that was like six or seven of those were side walls yeah. weren't they but just just be aware just think about maybe a touch more space maybe with some of the feeds you could maybe hit a couple of cross courts in here might be interesting to force andy to take yeah. a different line to work harder with creating that space so just it's a minor thing yeah. but you know the side wall has crept in I think it's a spacing issue, so maybe let's just, just 
be aware of that and see, see what happens now. Oh, can't argue with that. Close again in there. Yeah, I think you're definitely getting very, very close into there. I would think about that Peter Nickel thing where he almost sort of gets you curving round and then, you know, then stepping in. It's, it's always better to have to step in rather than yeah. just getting too... It's so more of a curve to pull on. I'm not saying that's how people should move, yeah. but it was a nice way of just getting players to space. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. when they're practicing, you know, just to exact. It's like an exaggerated movement, really, yeah. just yeah. so that you're making sure. You know, it's going to be so much easier for you if you get out there and then, you know, even if you have to lunge a bit further, yeah. lunge a bit further. That's okay, but you know do that rather than the other way and having to then you you just can't get out of that can you you're too stuck thinking about it i can almost tell at the point when i hit the ball because if i feel like i've given one of myself in space my wrist is in the right position yeah. Yeah. whereas if, if i'm too close to it like you say your elbow goes back and as a result of that your wrist comes in and hence well if you imagine if you're hitting ball there if you've got the correct spacing you're pretty much able to hit a six o'clock if you're getting too close you're almost being forced to hit in at kind of four and four and five o'clock so that create correct spacing allows you to to hit that back of the ball so just be aware of that now with a few more feeds mm -hmm. really try and create the space let's try that other pattern that james just talked about and see how much more consistent it becomes and if we can take that side wall out of it with the space that was better